Hello and welcome back to this modeling series. Today I'm going to be modeling a tank track segment and I'm going to be using the default cube. If for any reason your scene doesn't have a cube, I'm just going to press delete or X and delete that. First off, you want your cursor in the center of the grid, so press Shift S. Left select cursor to center. Okay, that places the 3D cursor in the center of the grid. Okay, and if you want to add any mesh, you press Shift A, mesh, and left select cube. Okay, and that'll snap it into the center of the cube or into the center of the grid. Okay, I'm going to press tab and left select edit mode. I want to make some modifications to this cube so I want to scale it in the Y axis so I'm going to press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just pull it out to about here and left click to lock that in position I'm going to scale it in the, in the Z axis okay so I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis and just squeeze that down to about there okay I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and rotate around I want to put some loop cuts along the Y axis. So I'm going to press Control R and that drops one into the center. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel three times and that gives me four loop cuts. I'm going to click, left click once and left click a second time to lock that in position. Okay, I want to put two along the X axis. So I'm going to press Control R and roll the mouse wheel once and left click twice to lock those in position okay i want to scale these along the y axis so i'm going to press s to scale y for the y axis and just pull the cursor back until they come out towards the edge and left click when i'm happy to lock that in position okay i want face select mode so i'm going to press control tab left click face I'm going to left select this face. I'm going to press and hold shift and left select this face. I want to rotate these in the Z axis. So R for rotation, Z for the Z axis and just rotate these until they come close to the edge. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude and extrude these up. And left click to lock that in position. Okay. I'm just going to roll the middle mouse wheel just to zoom in. I want to put a bevel on the top face of these. So with the two of these faces still selected, I'm going to press Ctrl B and just pull the cursor out slightly and left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to do the same for this edge around here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Tab and left select edge I'm going to left select this edge I'm going to press shift and left select all these edges all these top edges I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button and just rotate I'm going to press shift and left select all of these edges okay I want to put a bevel on this edge so I'm going to press ctrl b again and just pull this out ever so slightly with the cursor and left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to come down underneath here. I'm going to press control tab and left select face. Okay, I'm going to left select this face and I want to press S to scale and straight away I'm just going to cancel that operation with the right mouse key. I'm going to press S to scale sorry I'm going to press I'm going to cancel that again with the left or with the right mouse key I'm going to press E to extrude and cancel I'm going to press S to scale and I'm going to scale it in to about to about here I want to scale this now on the X axis so I'm going to press S to scale X for the X axis and just pull this out until it comes 
back very close to the edge and left click to lock that in position I'm going to press E to extrude and drag this down OK, I'm going to press S to scale just to taper in the top of this OK, I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom out I'm going to press 1 on the mouse on the keyboard for front view I'm going to press tab and left select object mode OK now just to make sure your cursor is back in center you can press shift s and left select cursor to center I want to add a curve so I'm going to press from object mode I'm going to press shift a I'm going to add a curve and left select circle okay I want to rotate this on the x-axis so it stands up to face me so R for rotation X for the X axis 90 and enter. Okay, I want to go into edit mode now to make some modifications. So I press tab and left select edit mode. And with this whole circle selected, it has it has four four vertices. Just press A once or twice to select everything. I'm gonna press S to scale X for the X axis and just pull this pull it out to about to about there I want to scale it up slightly in the Z axis so S to scale Z for the Z axis and just somewhere about there should be okay and left click to lock that in position okay I'm going to press tab and come back into object mode so left select object mode I'm going to left select our segment and press S to scale down to about that side, that size, left click to lock that in. I'm going to grab it in the Z direction and drag it up. Okay, to about there. I'm going to come over here <clears throat> to the right side properties panel, up to object modifier, left click. I'm going to left select add modifier. I want to add an array, so left click array. I'm going to left click in the count button and just enter a value of 30. Okay, now I'm going to come back up to the Add Modifier panel, left click, I want to add a curve, so left click Curve, I'm going to come down to the Curve Properties and under Object, I'm going to left click and left select Bezier Circle. Okay, now back here in the 3D view, I just want to press Shift S and Selection to Cursor, that'll just snap that back in. Okay, I'm going to come back up here to count and left click and hold and just drag to the right and increase that count. Okay, to about there. 79, looks good. Just going to roll my mouse wheel in to zoom in. I'm going to grab the circle and press tab to enter edit mode, left click edit mode. I'm going to go into scale this down slightly in the X just to bring these segments closer together so S to scale X for the X axis and just close that in ever so slightly uh, that should do left click to lock that in position I'm going to press tab and go back to object mode I'm going to zoom out I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button and shift and the middle mouse button just to pan that over Okay, that looks okay. I'm happy. I'm going to press Control S. Okay, I will need to save this. <clears throat> so you just choose your location. That's where my location is. I'm going to le click, left click here and rename it. I'm going to call it T1 dot blend. Okay, and save blend file. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Interested in 3D modeling? Maybe some simple rigging? Then join me on this beginner level modeling course as we create a simple paint rig. We start by creating a basic shape and by using an array and curve modifier, we quickly form our tracks. We add drivers to control the rotation and movement of these tracks. Next, we begin modeling the body of the rig. We model stabilizers and quickly copy and mirror them. We set origin points for our objects to easily control the rotation points. 
We add bones to control the movement of the boom and stabilizers. Next, we parent these objects to the bones and add drivers to control their movements. Finally, we create a simple short animation to demonstrate the rig in motion. So jump on into this modeling course and discover just how amazing and fun it is to create your very own model.